variable nodes. What you do is you take the product over all incoming messages. Except a message from the outgoing edge. So, in other words, if this is my variable x and I have messages coming in, let's call them u1, u2. Three, all of these are functions of x, incidentally. Here, uh, here is the, I want to send a message along this edge, but there is an incoming message along that edge that I'm going to call u4. What I do is, if I want to send a message along this edge, I ignore u4, and I take the product of the other. So mu out, let's call it, is equal to mu1 times mu2 times mu3. And again, this is a function of x. So uh, at a variable node, the inbound and outbound messages are all functions of x. And this is to be interpreted as the probability of x given all of the information from this part of the graph. Um, conversely, let's say we want to calculate the message outgoing along mu uh, along this edge. Let's call that mu out prime. Mu out prime would then be what? One, two, four. One, two, and four. The idea is you can't, um, because this is summarized information from one part of the graph only, you don't want to mix that with information that you're receiving from the other part of the graph. So in other words, you want to cut this, uh, cut the graph here sort of thing. So you don't want to mix that with information you're receiving from the other part of the graph. It's kind of like a rumor. You don't want, if, um, let's say, you and your friends are gossiping, and you hear lots of rumors from someone, and your friend is hearing lots of rumors from someone. What you don't want is your friend tells you a rumor, and then you repeat it back to him. That's, uh, that's actually the definition of a cycle. So in fact, you have a very short cycle here. So what you want is you want, uh, for instance, if someone tells you uh, tuition's going up, you repeat this to your friend. What you don't want is a, is a short cycle where it turns out you both heard it from the same person. So uh, all of this represents independent information coming from other parts of the graph, and you pass that along. What you don't want is for this information to be related to the information that this individual is receiving. So if this, this individual is telling you something, you can't repeat it back to them. You should not repeat it back to them. So that's why we exclude the inbound message from that part of the graph. Um, at factor nodes, What we do is again take the product over all incoming messages except this is cumbersome, except the message from the outgoing edge, except uh, from the destination, let's call it.
accept the message from the destination. So you do the same thing here. You take the product of all the incoming messages, accept that from the destination, and then sum over all variables. Accept the destination variable. So this is why it's called the sum product algorithm, because you're always taking products or sums. The only place where you take a sum is at the factor nodes, and that's because factors are um, uh, factors involve many variables. And the destination, which is always uh, from a factor, is always a variable. Um, the, uh, the message has to be a function of the destination variable. So you have to eliminate all of the all of the variables except except that for the destination. So for instance, let's say we have a factor. So this is a this this uh, factor is some factor in A, B, C, and D. So we will have messages incoming. message to D. Okay, we will also have an incoming message from D. The outgoing message to D, let's call it mu out, is equal to, excuse me, the product over all incoming messages except for the destination and the internal factor. Or with the internal factor. So mu out is the internal factor times the product over the, all of the incoming messages except the one from D. So in other words, we leave out mu of D and then we sum over all the variables except for the destination. So we sum over A, B, and C. Initial messages from a factor, excuse me, from a variable, are uh, one for all settings of that variable. Say we have, in fact, we saw this a second ago. We had um, we had factor F3 in D and E. And we wanted, what we were interested in was the message back 